What's up guys, it's Unders here for WarriorSoundBeat.com and I just want to show you guys a really quick, easy fade tip in FL Studio. So it's not glaringly obvious how you do this. In many DAWs, you can take a piece of audio and you can just click and drag back on the piece of audio and it will introduce a fade. For example, if I open Logic here, um, we've got this snare with a little bit of a sound either side we can just drag you up and if we wanted to keep the whole snare but just have this fade away we can just drag up here and introduce a audio fade we can bend it curve it any way we want it however in fl studio there's nothing that simple however if we say select this little piece of audio here and we do some zoom in what we could do is take this heavy 808 hit here uh, we'll stick a good old loop around it and we'll solo it. It rolls over a little bit here. Maybe we want, want to fade the end of that just a little bit. So I thought it going over the bar hit, but maybe we want to stop it dead on the bar. To do it in FL Studio, a little bit different. So there's a little wave icon just up here. We need to right click on here. We need to go down to the section that says automate and we need to go volume. That is now going to overlay that piece of audio with a really specific volume automation overlay specifically for that bit of audio. So if you have a look up here in your options, you need to make sure you're on the automation mode and you can now introduce that fade, but uh, it's a bit drastic and it's just faded the whole thing in half. So what we actually need to do is use right click, introduce a secondary point and there we can now introduce a fade and depending on what you have on your snap to grid it will snap to that grid and like regular automation you can use the handle just to fade it off so that's your way to really quickly introduce audio fades in fl studio